Sorry, sorry, I gotta, gotta let me have my coffee here in the morning. I come up here at 6 in the morning to shoot these videos, so I need my coffee to get me rolling. And we here at Art of Problem Solving, we drink a lot of coffee. I mean, you'd expect that, right? Because mathematician, that's just a machine that turns coffee into math. We drink 40 cups of coffee a day. Not each one of us, not each one of us. Collectively, we all together drink 40 cups of coffee every single day. Now, if there are 16 cups in a gallon, how many gallons of coffee do we drink every single week? Cups of coffee per day. That's a rate. I mean, it's not miles per hour, it's coffee per day. That's a rate. So we can use our rate times time equals distance approach. 40 cups of coffee a day, 40 cups per day, that's our rate. And the amount of time we're interested in is one week, one week. Now, of course, our rate is in terms of days, so we need our time to be in terms of days as well. So that one week, we're going to turn that into seven days. That's right, we work hard here, no weekends for us. So our rate is 40 cups a day, our time is seven days. The days conveniently cancel out, and we have 7 times 40 is 280 cups. Uh, uh-oh. Problem asks for gallons. I've got cups. That's right. We're going to use one of those conversion factor thingies. Take our 280 cups and multiply that by our conversion factor of 1 gallon per 16 cups. Notice that we put the cups down here in the denominator, so these cups will cancel out. And we have 280 over 16 gallons. Now take out a common factor of 4. It's 70 over 4. Got another common factor, this time of 2. We have 35 over 2. 35 over 2 is 17 and a half gallons. That's a lot of coffee. Precious, precious coffee. Hey, wait a second. We could have used conversion factors to solve the whole problem. We didn't even have to mess around with this rate times time stuff. Let's check this out. We got 40 cups of coffee per day. So we start with that. 40 cups per day. And then we want to turn the cups into gallons. So we have one gallon per 16 cups. And then we need to eliminate the days here. We want to be left with gallons in the end. Our time here is a week is seven days. So multiply this by seven days. And sure enough, the cups cancel out, the days cancel out, and we're left with 40 times seven divided by 16, and the only unit left here is gallons. And of course, once again, 40 times 7 is 280. 280 over 16, we already computed that, is 17 and a half gallons. So these rate problems, we can think of them in terms of, simply in terms of conversion factors if we want to. Let's try another one. Let me have a little more coffee first. Now, to my videos, I try to keep them under 10 minutes, because if they go longer than 10 minutes, I know what happens. You stop paying attention. Now. I have 2,500 words that I want to get out here, 2,500 words I want to get into this video. So how many words do I have to say every single second in order to get all my words into the 10 minutes while you're still paying attention? I shouldn't have waited so long there. Now I'm going to have to talk faster to catch up. So oh, once again, we'll think about that rate times time equals distance. What I'm looking for here is how many words per second. I'm looking for a rate. How fast do I have to talk? What is the rate of my speaking? So my rate will be distance divided by time. My distance is how many words I have to say. My time is how much time I have to say it in. So my distance here, of course, is 2,500 words. And my time is 10 minutes. But I want my rate in words per second. 10 minutes, there are 60 seconds per minute. That's 600 seconds. 600 seconds. Take out a couple factors of 10. I have 25 over 6, which is 4 and a sixth words per second. That means I need to talk a lot faster. Well, or maybe I just need to find a smarter way to say things and then speak in a normal, more normal pace. All right, one more cup of coffee here. 
Oh boy. Ten takes for each video. <laughs> That's only when I'm doing particularly well. 144 videos a book? Oh my goodness. Whose idea was this? 11 books, and each video averages five minutes. Not this one. Now, if I shoot continuously, I don't stop, I don't sleep, I don't eat, I have coffee, how long will it take me to make a full set of videos for every single book? Oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. All right, well, now we could set this up as a rate times time equals distance. We've got a lot of different things going on here. Let's set this up with conversion factors. Set this up so we want to know how many days it's going to take to make all of these videos. Well, we'll start with, we know we have 11 books. We have 11 books. And for each of these books, I want to make 144 videos. That's 144 videos per book. I'm lining this up with conversion factors here. 144 videos, that's one book. This conversion factor equals one. I put the books in the denominator because I want the books to cancel out. I have 144 times 11 videos. That's a lot of videos. Now let's see. So it tells me how many videos I need. I need 10 takes for each video. So I'm going to cancel out the videos. 10 takes per video. And each take is five minutes. So that's five minutes per take. Five minutes per take. That averages out all those, you know, nice nine minute videos with those one minute takes that I throw away. Uh, who are we kidding? I throw away a lot of the nine minute videos too because they're not quite right. So five minutes, but I don't want to know how many minutes I need to make all these videos. I need to know how many days. So I need to convert minutes into days. I don't know how to do that, but I do know how to turn minutes into hours. One hour is 60 minutes. And then once I have hours, I can turn hours into days. One day is 24 hours. All right, so the books will cancel with the books. Videos will cancel with videos. Takes will cancel with takes. Minutes will cancel with minutes. Hours will cancel with hours. And we're left with days. This is the power of conversion factors. I line up everything. Each one of these is one. Five minutes is one take. Ten takes is a video. One hour is 60 minutes. And I line everything up so that the units cancel out. I'm left with days. That means I lined everything up correctly. And all I have to do here is deal with all the numbers. Let's see, we got 10 and 60. We have a common factor of 10, knock that out. So let's see, we got 144 and 24. 144 is 12 squared, that's 2 times 12. So we're going to take out a common factor of 12. Only that's 12, and this is 2. Of course, 12, 6, 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So I take out 6 times 2 is 12, knock those both out, and we're left with 11 times 5. 55 days! I'm going to need a lot more coffee.